If the default mobile menu hamburger icon that comes with Generate Press is just too plain and boring for you, today I'm going to show you in less than five minutes how to transform that icon into more of a button with a menu label. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing that we need to verify before we dive into this tutorial is that in Appearance Generate Press, you have the Menu Plus module activated. This is required. Uh, in order to achieve what we're about to do. So let's go ahead and jump into the customizer and drop into the mobile view and you'll see by default this is what we get, right? So it's just the simple hamburger icon uh, and sometimes it's just a little bit too plain and boring, right? You want something a little bit um, bigger to touch with your finger or bring more attention to it or add a label. So um, that's what we're going to do today. So if we come to the layout tab, go to primary navigation, the first option you'll see here is the mobile menu label. So here you can type whatever you want and that text is going to appear right next to the icon. So for this demo, we're going to type menu. And now you'll see um, that text appears right next to your hamburger icon. And for some, this might be enough. That's all you wanted. Um, but we're going to take this a step further and turn that into a button. So next, we just need to write a little bit of CSS. So jump into the additional CSS. We'll add some spaces here to create some, some room. And we'll start typing. So the class is hashtag mobile header dot menu toggle. <clears throat> and what we want to do is add some background color um, and then kind of give it a little bit of border radius and, and just make it appear like a button. So we're going to say background color, we'll do white. And now you can see it's, it's already appearing that way, uh, applying. Um, we'll do line height, um, let's say two EMs, just so that it doesn't span too big. You know, we want, don't want a huge button. Uh, border radius, let's add about um, five pixels of border radius. And then now the text color, since that's white, we need to say color. And I'm going to do 333. Three, three. So now we can see our text on top. And font weight, I'm going to thicken this up a bit to be bold, um, just so it's easier to read. And lastly, we're going to say margin right 10 pixels because we want to push it away from the edge there. In fact, maybe we'll do 15 pixels. Um, so it looks like that's just a little bit more even top and, and right. So now um, we've got a nice looking menu button, you know, with the simple typing of a label in the navigate or excuse me, in the layout settings and just writing about six lines of CSS. Uh, transformed it pretty well. Um, but as you can see now, our navigation is transparent. And so we're going to write um, just one more line of CSS so that we can add some background color to this to make it readable and, and easier to see. So we're going to say dot main navi oops, navigation dot mobile header navigation. And then we're going to say background color. We're going to use the same 333 hex code. So now um, you'll see that applied to our header. And when we click our menu, now uh, it's much more visible, easier to read. All right. So just in a few minutes, we've transformed that hamburger menu icon into a full functioning button. Uh, we ho hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I appreciate if you subscribe for future videos. Thanks a lot.